song, but... Welcome back to my channel. So first, let me go ahead and update you guys. Um, I am still looking for a house because I know I've been MIA. And I kind of told myself I really didn't want to film a video until we moved. But as you can see, we have not moved yet. So I'm really disappointed right now. But the housing market is crazy. And where I live, let me just say they legalized something. And, you know, it's off right now because... Um, it's not benefiting me and houses right now are going for like 20 to 30 thousand over the asking price so say right now you know the struggle is real <laughs> and when I say that I really mean it so yeah it's kind of frustrating but you know what can I do so I'm here now filming a makeup tutorial and hair tutorial for you guys for the summertime so I really hope you guys enjoy this I use very bold colors meaning pinks purples greens blues and um, I kind of just blended them out together to give you this special look so I don't know I just call it it's more like a rainbow I don't know I don't know what to call this look but yeah if you want to see how I got this summertime hair and this summertime makeup please keep watching Moving straight into the tutorial I did already prime and moisturize my face and I am using L'Oreal's infallible matte foundation as well as the color perfect matte foundation by black radiance I am just putting this all over my face going in with a elf brush and i did put a little bit of fix plus on this brush i am just stippling on my foundation making sure everything blends i do bring my foundation to my neck due to the fact that it is summertime and we tend to get a little bit darker some of us get a little tan so i do bring my foundation down so everything blends out seamlessly and I am just blending it into my forehead, my hairline, and now I'm just patting the foundation on to avoid having any oil spots on my face because I do not like to get oily at all. Going in with BH Concealer, I'm using this to conceal my under eye circles. Um, it's just like a nude concealer, so yeah, I just use, I only focus this on my under eye circles and I use my fingers to warm it up. Going back in with a beauty blender, now I just blend my foundation one more time to make sure I don't have any harsh lines. Going back into that palette, I am going to contour my nose with the darkest um, concealer in this palette. And I just use a BH Cosmetics concealer brush to outline my nose. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender because I did add concealer to my face, but I did that off camera. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer as well as the concealer that I put on my nose, kind of more of a highlight. Um, instead of just trying to conceal my nose, I try to do more of a highlight as well. Going in with a e.l.f. contouring brush, I am using this contouring brush to um, contour my nose and to make sure everything blends out very well. But of course, I love my beauty blender, so I am taking my beauty blender to blend out the harsh lines as well. I don't know, I feel like nothing works better than my beauty blender, so that is what I always go back to every time I blend out something. Now taking my powder from BH Cosmetics, I am just applying this to my face because I do not like to get oily throughout the day. And this just helps for you to set your foundation. So I bring it down to my neck, and I just bring it to my T-zone or where I get oily. Next, I am taking kind of like a banana powder from BH Cosmetics, and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight right under my eyes and the bridge of my nose. Now, I did bake for about 10 minutes, and as you can see on the other side of the video, I'm just wiping off that powder so I don't look too blotchy and not too overbaked. Now I am taking a jumbo pencil from NYX and this is in the shade Milk and I really like this jumbo pencil because it really gets these colors to pop especially the shade white it's going to really get these colors to pop so whatever pencil you have that is in white go ahead and apply that to your lid with any hot pink you have I don't care do not go out and buy another hot pink shadow um, with any hot pink that you have I'm going to apply this to my lid as well as my tear duct and this is the first color that we are going to apply. Now I did use Fix Plus to spray my brush, but this is the first color that you're going to apply. 
and then as you can see I am now going into the purple shade now I messed up <laughs> unfortunately I went into the wrong purple shade but I got it together and I want to blend that into the pink now it's fine that there's a line there because of course we're going to blend out everything at the end of the look but yes just add the purple and pack that color on honey <laughs> make sure it really stands out the third color from the last that we're using is green and we're just going to apply that right next to the purple shade and like i said don't worry about blending too much of course it's going to be lines of separations between the colors but of course we will blend that out at the end <laughs> And I just want to dance a little bit more for you guys. Go ahead and sing to you. The last shade that we're using is the blue. And this is going to basically complete the look. And I'm bringing that a little more into my crease. And just kind of giving me a cut crease just a little bit. Going back in with the shade blue, I am going to, of course, as I mentioned, cut my crease and just add that blue there. With the Missy Lim palette, I'm taking the brown shadow and I'm using this as a transition color because I don't really want to highlight. I feel like my eyes are already bold enough, so I don't really need a highlight. And as you can see with my BH powder, I'm going to go ahead and put that right on top of that rusty brown. Next, going in with some eyeliner. This is Wet n Wild's Liquid Liner, and I really had to pay attention because I haven't used, I've been using a lot of gel liner lately. And so going back to liquid liner, I had to remember how to use that brush because your eyeliner can go everywhere. <laughs> so um, I would probably say this is not like beginner friendly, um, this brush, but this eyeliner, I always end up going back to it because it's super black and I really love it. And it gives me like the perfect cat eye. I'm assuming because of that brush, <laughs> that's the reason why I get the perfect cat eye, but I really love this eyeliner. Taking my gel eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my waterline because I do not like a cat eye without any gel liner being in my waterline. Now taking all the shades, the purples, the pinks, the blues, the greens, I'm bringing that down to my waterline as well and kind of just smudging out the look so everything blends out seamlessly. Going in with the Missy Lynn palette, I am taking the rose gold color and applying that to my tear duct. And last, to complete everything, I am applying some mascara from Wet n Wild, and I will apply that to my top lashes as well as my bottom lashes to blend out my lashes with the falsies. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I had to cut me applying false lashes kind of short because I was struggling putting these lashes on. I could not get them on to save my life. Like, they would not stay. They kept popping up. So I'm like trying to like bend them down with my tweezers and I guess I can give you a little bit of a happy dance because I was excited. Let's go ahead and jump into hair.
Okay, so jumping straight into the lips, I am taking a pink lip liner, and I'm not exactly sure what the name of it is. It'll be the link down below, but I am just lining my lips, and as I mentioned previously in other videos, for the men and women who have braces, honey, you know your braces attract everything. Like they attract food, they attract lipstick, they attract your lip liner. So it's like anytime I apply any type of lipstick or lip liner, I have to like double check my braces because everything stains my braces. <laughs> now taking Max, uh, I think that's in the color Snob. I was only supposed to apply that to the center of my lips. Don't ask what happened, but I applied it everywhere. It's just, you know, a Barbie pink, and I was obsessed, so do not ask why I did that, but I did. <laughs> and since my eyes are so matte, I did go ahead and add NYX Butter Gloss onto my lips, and that was only supposed to be in the center as well, but as you can see, I just got a little too excited with my lips today, so um, I did add a little bit of gloss since my makeup's so matte. Going in with some blush, I have Jane, and I'm taking it back, but I have some Jane blush, and it is in a hot pink, and I'm using a Morphe brush to apply this Jane blush, which is still so funny to me. It's so old, but um, now I'm taking a Physician's Formula blush, and I don't know if all their blushes smell this amazing, like cupcakes, but that blush smells exactly like cupcakes. It just smells so amazing. I love it. And last, I'm going into the Missy Lynn palette, and I am taking the Rose Gold highlight at the bottom, their Bake Shadows, and I am applying that to not the apples of my cheeks, but right above it. And this is the completed look. I was very happy. <laughs> Now we are at the end. I just want to thank everyone for taking time out of their day to watch my videos. Um, if I can give you guys a hug, I will give you a hug through the camera. And yeah, um, I don't know what I'm going to do for like the 4th of July yet. So um, if you guys want like a makeup look on the 4th of July or a 4th of July look or just anything, go ahead and link those comments down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. And until my next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.